Most pre-meds are far behind where they need to be. Are you most pre-meds? I'm going to give you five pre-med milestones to hit by your freshman year so that you can benchmark whether or not you're on track to become a doctor. I've helped hundreds of pre-meds get accepted to their dream medical schools like UCLA and UCSF. And this is exactly how we did. Milestone number one, your white coat ceremony. What month and what year will your white coat ceremony be? When you know that one single answer in 70% of pre-med freshmen I talk to don't, the blueprint unravels right in front of you. Let's say you're a freshman, class of 2028. You want to go to medical school without a gap year. So in June of 2028, you graduate college. And in August 2028, just two months later, you put on a white coat and you start medical school. Now, if you want to start in August 2028, you realize you must apply to medical school in June of 2027. And if you apply in June of 2027, you'll need to have taken your MCAT before then. So let's protect the summer of 2026 to do just that. The key points in your pre-med journey become crystal clear. Milestone number one, have a four-year plan. It takes 45 seconds and you can always change it later. Without it, you're a pre-med who has no idea where they're going. No longer, we have a done for you four-year plan. It works for any timeline, no gap year, one gap year, or two gap years. And we've shared it with over 11,400 pre-meds who are part of our community. To accomplish milestone number one, click the four-year plan link in our description box below now. Milestone number two, what does good look like? Maybe your dream medical school is UCLA, like it was for me. Do you know what an accepted UCLA pre-med looks like? Your pre-med journey becomes far easier when you have a sense of what good looks like. Oh, Mike got in with strong community health work. Now, I see it's not easy to host quarterly health fairs for 200 plus uninsured Vietnamese and Hispanic immigrants, but by reading his application, I know roughly what zip code I should be in. On one end, I don't have to publish 12 first author papers. But I also know on the other end, a couple of club leadership positions that are superficial aren't going to cut it. Milestone number two, look at two real applications so you have a sense of what it takes to get accepted to your dream medical school. Now we have eight full AMCAS applications that earn acceptances to UCSF, UCLA, USC. My own UCLA application is on there. And every time we review a new application, like Sam who earned a full ride scholarship to Kaiser, we add it to the database so you know what is working right now. If you want to get into these types of schools, this database shows you exactly what it takes. To accomplish milestone number two, click the application database link in our description box below now. Milestone number three, nothing else matters. When you look at a medical school application, you'll find there are only six things on there. You don't get evaluated on anything else. GPA, MCAT, extracurriculars, letters of recommendations, a school list, and your writing. Think your personal statement and your work and activity section. Now, because of milestone number one, you know exactly when you're going to prepare for the MCAT. You also know what month, what year you're going to write to your application. And right now, you don't need to worry about letters and you don't need to worry about your school list. So those six broad levers condense to just two, your GPA and your extracurriculars. That is all you have to focus on at this stage. Milestone number three, know your six levers, prioritize the two that matter, and check on them every quarter and semester to make sure they're on track. Now, even if you've eliminated all these other distractions, there is still so much that goes into a strong GPA and strong extracurriculars. And it's this attention to detail that separates pre-meds who get into medical school from those who don't. If you're serious about wanting to become a doctor, you do not want to make the wrong decisions. Our pre-med catalyst students that submit their applications on time have a 100% acceptance rate. And all students who work with us have a 75% acceptance rate. That's nearly double the national average. Our results are because we work so closely with students. In fact, we only take four students per month until we're full. If you'd be interested in earning full rides to Kaiser or want to interview with schools like Harvard, Stanford, Mayo, Cornell, Wash U, Einstein, click the mentorship link down below to book a free strategy session call before we're full for the cycle. Milestone number four, friends are temporary. You can make literally every mistake as a freshman and still come back from them to become a doctor. But there are some things that are harder to change than others. For example, if you get involved with a terrible hospital volunteering experience and spend 343 hours like I did, you can quit 
with just one email. But if you start off with a 2.17 GPA, now you're looking at a post back and it'll take multiple years to come back from that. And so the saying goes, friends are temporary, GPA is forever. Aim for a 3.8 GPA in your first year and you'll open most medical school doors. Milestone number five, breadth then depth. Do not mess up the order. When you're a freshman, you want to try everything. That's how you'll learn what people, problems, and populations that you truly care about. In my freshman year, I started with breath. I worked with patients experiencing homelessness. I did some clinical research on normal pressure hydrocephalus, and heck, I even tried card magic. Then I really found teaching and mentorship and transitioned to depth. I poured into it with multiple extracurriculars and leadership positions, and they were all directed to becoming world-class at teaching and mentoring. That was my lane, and that's what stood out on my application. And still, to this day, seven years later, I make educational YouTube videos to help pre-meds like you become doctors. Milestone number five, go wide to find your thing. And once you've found your thing, go deep. Those are five pre-med milestones you'll want to accomplish by your freshman year. If you like this, you'll love this video here where I share seven brutal truths from seven years of helping pre-meds get into their dream medical schools. Goodbye.